Hello, Virgo, and welcome to your July 2018 mid-month check-in. This is for Virgo for July 2018. What is going on? If this resonates with you, Virgo, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. If this doesn't resonate with you, Virgo, please check your moon rising and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate for every Virgo out there. If you'd like a private reading with me, something more specific to your situation, all the information is down below in the description box. This is for Virgo. For July 2018, okay? Okay. So I feel like you're being on guard. You're being very defensive here. Um, we have the Seven of Wands. This is Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You are in a warrior's pose here, okay? Um, you're being very uh, defensive and guarded. Okay, that's what I'm getting from this. And it is in regards to a love offer. We have the Knight of Cups. This is Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So I feel like someone has come in, and this energy can be vice versa, okay? This could be you offering your cup of love, but I feel like um, for most of the Virgos out there, somebody has come in and made you an offer in regards to love, okay? They, they you know, have feelings for you, and they have let you know this, okay? Knight of Cups, Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but you are being very guarded, okay? You're being very guarded. You're on defense because of all of your past um, hurts, okay? Because your challenge is a broken heart. The Three of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So this is your challenge, is to let go of all of these past hurts, to let down your walls, to open up to people again, right? That is your challenge. Because you have experienced such heartbreak and such loss in regards to love relationships, right? Your advice is to work on your confidence and step back into your power. We have the Queen of Wands here, and this is Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this, um, male or female, this is a person who's very passionate, very creative, very passionate about what they do, loves animals. As you can see that cat down there. So they're very, you know, nurturing, but they're also very passionate as well. But as an energy, the queen is here to remind you to step back into your power, to get your confidence back to let go of those past hurts and to realize what a beautiful, passionate person that you are, Virgo. Okay, that's why this queen is here. Your focus is on communication. That is your focus. I feel like maybe you were kind of caught off guard um, in regards to this love offer. I feel like... Um, it's something, you know, that you were kind of hoping for, but now that it's here, you're kind of scared of. But this is, you know, you're focused on this communication. You're very focused on what this person is saying and trying to figure out if they're sincere or not, to f see if they're legit, right? We have the Eight of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So I feel like... Um, something unexpected is going to happen here. Some sort of unexpected news, some sort of unexpected visit. Um, this card is always expect the unexpected, like a surprise. Hopefully it's a good surprise, but we're going to clarify this and find out. But I feel like this offer came, 
it, it really uh, took you by surprise, right? But there's um, some communication coming in that isn't expected, okay? Or somebody is going to show up on your at your door and you're not expecting it, okay? Night of, Night of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah. And this somebody is, you know, um, you may be turning their back, your back on this person, but all in all, I think you're, you're waiting on this. I feel like you're wait, you've been waiting on this communication, actively waiting, or this person has been waiting on communication from you. Three of wands here, fire, energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And then it's just like, uh, whoever this is, I feel like it's you that finally decides to kind of take charge here, right? Kind of deliver this communication that this person has been waiting on. And, oh, we got some candlelight that's coming here. But I feel like, you know, and this can be vice versa, I feel like you're going to take charge of the situation. Um, you're very focused on the communication between the two of you, between whoever this, you know, love offer came in from, right? And you're getting over this past heartache. I feel like you're going to step back into your power. You're going to get your confidence back. And then it's just going to be like this epiphany, like boom. And you're going to go for it, right? You're going to talk to this person. You're going to tell them how you feel. And it's what this person has been waiting for. They've been waiting for you to come to them. That's what I'm getting here. All right. So that's what we've got for that. Let's see what the romance angels have to say. It's kind of like you say to yourself, okay, enough of this, you know, feeling down and heartbroken. Let's get this ball rolling. I'm ready. Right, and it's going to just come to you out of nowhere. You're just it's like a lightning, you were struck by lightning or something. This is for Virgo for their mid month check in for July 2018. And that person's just been waiting on you, they've been waiting to hear to see if. Um, you're going to accept this cup of love or not? Virgo. This is for Virgo. Yeah. Because they, they're thinking that you don't feel the same, right? They feel like, you know, they offered you this cup and nothing's really happening right now. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. They feel like you don't feel the same for them when in reality, that's truly not the case. Um, you've just been hurt so badly before in the past that you don't know what to do. So you've just been focused on this communication, trying to figure out if it's sincere or not. Okay. And then all of a sudden, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. You decide what you want. You step back into that power and you go full throttle. Okay. And they've been waiting. They've been waiting, thinking that, you know, well, she probably doesn't think I'm cute. She don't like me. She doesn't have any feelings for me. That kind of thing. Right. And this can go vice versa as well. So, if you have offered your cup of love to somebody and it's taken them forever um, and you feel like, oh, they don't feel that way about me, um, they possibly do. It's just that they, they've suffered from a heartbreak here. And then, then all of a sudden they're going to come in and um, let you know what's going on. And they're going to have an open and honest discussion with you. OK, so that's what's going on here. If you would like a. Uh, private reading with me just let me know all the information is down below in the description box I'm going to get some dailies out starting tomorrow 
Hopefully they will all be live, including the Lev Lester loss on Friday, so keep an eye out for all of that. And then next week we're going to be spying on the X, so keep an eye out for that. So I'm going to be very, very busy here. <laughs> so you guys take very good care of yourself and have a great week and expect the unexpected. All right. God bless.